Hello, my name is Lake Swanson of Von Schweikert Audio, and here we are at Expona 2016 uh, in the Burton Room. To my right is Ron Laporte of Blue Smoke Entertainment Systems, and to my left is Kevin Hayes of VAC Amplification. Um, we're going to let them walk you through what we showed here at the show. Hope you enjoy. Okay, again, Ron Laporte from Blue Smoke Entertainment in Deerfield, Illinois, a uh, local dealer for all the products in this room. Uh, starting at the beginning of the system, we have the uh, latest Blue Smoke Entertainment Systems with Black Box. This is the Ultimate. So this is the debut of the Ultimate server. Um, unique to this and new for us is a separate linear power supply for the USB and, and yet another linear power supply for the AES EBU coming out of this unit. So it's a tremendous unit, um, just new to the market. <coughs> it's a prototype box, but it'll be pretty much the same. That'll be $7,000. We go from there uh, into the MSB. Diamond DAC 5. Uh, this one has the Galaxy Clock, which is the uh, 77 femtosecond clock. Um, we're running that over a, a USB input into their quad USB. From there, we'll go into the VAC equipment and we'll let Kevin speak about that. Thank you, Rob. This is the VAC Signature SE preamplifier. Um, uh, what shall I say about this? It is a fully um, balanced unit. Um, this particular one is equipped with the internal optional phono stage as well, which we didn't use this particular show. Um, remote control for all the essential functions. And uh, due to the um, Class A push-pull internal construction for the triode tubes and the transformer coupling, it breaks long-form feedback loop interactions between source components, like this lovely DAC, and power amplifiers and their feedback loops, and also tends to isolate the galvanic currents in the system, which allow the source to be less disturbed and give its very best performance. And that's what we're all about. When you put a VAC component in your system, we want that system to sound better, to make everything else you have be the very best it can be. Um, from the signature preamplifier, we go to the new signature 200 IQ power amplifier. This is uh, configurable as either 100 watts per channel stereo, or with a flip of a switch, 200 watts mono which is the way we ran them here, one for each channel. Um, this employs four KT88 output tubes, or could also use KT90s, KT120s, KT150s, and uh, features the patented VAC IQ circuit, which is the only system in the world capable of watching and monitoring the true underlying idle current of the vacuum tube and the output tubes at all times, no matter what music you're playing, how loudly you're playing. It can always see with a resolution of finer than 1% what the underlying baseline is and hold that steady continuously. And that allows the balance of the amplifier to be more precise, um, optimizes the tube function, gives more detail, more nuance, more dynamics. And practically speaking, it also, um, by virtue of taking care of those bias settings automatically, make the amplifiers plug and play from the audiophile's point of view and literally prevents um, gas current runaway tubes from happening. The most common kind of tube failure you see, tube turns orange, the fuse blows never happens. The cycle of thermal runaway never even gets to start with this with this circuit. And it also will tell you when the tubes require change. So it uh, is a wonderful thing to live with as well as listen to. Um, fully balanced input capability. We ran fully balanced here at the show. And uh, the power was delivered, of course, to the fabulous Von Schweikert VR55 speakers. You know, uh, you can have the greatest amplifiers, you can have the greatest electronics or you can have the greatest speakers but uh, it's not one product all by itself it's a combination of everything and uh, what we had here what I felt my heart was we had in my ears is we had really good synergy um, you know there's so many factors that come into play the room uh, you know sound treatment but uh, this was a really really good combination of electronics it was it was fabulous um, from the electronics, we were using all master-built cabling, and uh, what was really nice about this show is this is the first time that we truly were able to run a full loom of Ultra cables, uh, starting with the Ultra USB cable uh, from the DAC. Uh, we're running the master-built Ultra interconnects to the uh, preamplifier, and uh, Ultra interconnects to the monoblocks. Going from the monoblocks, we're running the Ultra by wire speaker cables into the uh, VR55s, the uh, debut of the uh, Masterbuilt Ultra Power Cords. 
Uh, so we, we were running a Fulham Ultra. And the VR55, you know, it's <laughs> the same thing. Uh, this speaker was designed to be ultra low in distortion. Uh, Accuton honeycomb drivers, uh, woofers, uh, Accuton mid-range drivers, and we have the uh, ScanSpeak Brilliant Tweeter that's specially doped. Uh, uh, it never gets glassy, it stays very smooth, but yet we can still maintain the full frequency response of the tweeter without any of the edginess. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a rear ribbon tweeter. Uh, this is our ambience retrieval system. Uh, this is controllable. Uh, there's a knob on the back of the amplifier plate so you can adjust its volume. The VR55 woofers are active. There is a very neutral 525 watt booster amp that is actually taking its signal from uh, Kevin Hayes monoblocks. So it takes a high level signal in and uh, we get to capture the beautiful sound of the tubes through the woofers even though we have a booster amp in between it. It's also fully adjustable. Okay, okay let me just add in some of the other support features here. Um, for vibration control, we have the harmonic resolution system, the SXR rack system here, uh, and with the uh, MX3 isolation bases for each piece of equipment in here, that also makes a significant difference and reduces the smearing and uh, loss of uh, detail that is, is common with vibration in components. Then we have our wound treatment. This was a uh, somewhat challenging wound, and we spent some time on this. Um, one particular area in this room, we had a particular base uh, modal problem, about 61. We have some adjustable hem holes um, traps here, um, uh, base resonators, and that particular one is in the proper area, and we were able to tune that to 61 hertz and bring down the decay significantly in the room. And uh, we also have a variety of, um, this is a SMT of Sweden, their products, that we are involved with and bringing to the U.S., and a number of their wings, which is a very broadband, uh, unique diffuser system. These are the V-wings um, that we have in, in oak here. And we have a number of these in the room. We also have the uh, some of these acrylic wings here, also what we call his V-wing. What's the frequencies on some of these two um, operational range? These are from about, uh, the, the wooden V-wings will work from about 200 hertz on up to 16K. Um, the acrylic, I believe, is 250 to 16K. And over there, the white S-wing, a slightly different shape, that one is 250 to 16K. So we use those, and it gives us a very nice broadband, um, very broadband control in the room, uh, great harmonics, uh, kind of a great envelope of, of sound as everything kind of comes out in a more uniform fashion. So in combination, I think we, we achieved uh, a lot of good synergy, as mentioned, and I think it came out quite nicely. You bring together companies which have passion and do their work with excellence, and the outcome is not hi-fi, but music. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you, gentlemen.
something? We are trying to describe here, if, if I can be articulate about it, why we like Volkswagen better than every other system we tried today at the show. Uh, this is by far, by huge magnitude, higher and better sound than everything we heard before. It sounds real, it sounds like a real music. It sounds uh, very uh, uh, emotional, draws you into the music, where every other system we tried today and yesterday sound like a stereo system. We tried Lilium Sonus Fiber on the 12th floor, uh, excellent system, not nearly as good as this. We tried the uh, Alexa from uh, Wilson, what's the name of the company? Wilson, yes. Uh, again, everything is there, but doesn't like, it doesn't have emotions that we feel today with the Wolf uh, We tried um, Dynaudio, what else for the good companies out there? Uh, pretty much uh, every uh, magical uh, YG acoustics and stuff like that. So what we hear here, this system, is like a real live, live music. Uh, this is the track we use the most. This is a track by Lars and John, violinist, uh, playing a gypsy uh, nocturne, I believe is the name of the tune. Uh, and it's uh, a violin is very hard, difficult to reproduce. And mm -hmm. this has a very silky, smooth, full sound, whereas most systems sound just a little bit screechy and not, not as, as, as good. Uh, and most systems have high-end frequencies that are almost unpleasant to listen to, whereas this one contains all the high frequencies. Yes, they're full, they're silky, they're rich, they're creamy, everything's there. Uh, on the other hand, there's another thing I wanted to say. This has raw tweeter in the back. We heard another system from Ryan, I forgot the name of his company, has a raw tweeters. Uh, so it, it has a little bit of the silky sound, but then the mid-range is still missing. You, you know, you have, you have fundamental tone, you have harmonics. Uh, I'm not sure what magic you do here, maybe ceramic drivers, or <laughs> probably beyond drivers, but this has the top, but it has the whole body down there with a the bass, with a mid-range, that we have never heard it before, that complemented, that that kind of a balanced uh, in a full sound. So mm -hmm. I really have no no f no faults to find here at this speaker. Uh, uh, I can say this is the best speaker I've heard in my life. Oh, wow. 20 years of audio file. <laughs> 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 Thank you, I appreciate that. Oh, Thank you. Me.